Hello, my name is Miss Chrissy and I work at the Archer Branch Library. Today I'm going to show you how to paint flowers with soda bottles. Now for this project, we're going to need a canvas or a piece of paper like this. Some paint brushes if you want to decorate outside of your flowers. A paper plate with your paints. I'm using acrylic paints, but you could also use tempera paints, which are washable. And of course, your soda or water bottles. You wanna make sure they have a nice round pattern on the bottom. Looks like a flower. I would also recommend a cup of water for your paint brushes, and also some paper towels or newspaper to set your bottles on once you're done painting with them. This is a great project for little hands because it's really easy for them to hold the bottle and you can do a lot of different designs and a ton of coverage in a rainy afternoon. So I've prepared this eight by 10 canvas with a little bit of a blue background and some brown tree branches using the acrylic paint. I'm going to take this 20 ounce bottle and I'm just going to smush the bottom of it into the pink paint to make sure that it's all covered like this. And then I'm going to just press the bottle onto the canvas. And it makes a really loose flower picture. Now I'm going to take this 16.9 ounce soda bottle and put it into the lighter pink color. This paint is a little bit more liquid so it'll spread a little bit easier than the dark pink. And I'm just going to put it right on top of the other one. We've got a flower. Let's do another one. Get the dark pink on here, nice and covered. Going to just push that into the canvas. And we'll do the same thing with the light pink. Now, of course, these flowers are very stylized. If you have a different kind of paint, it might look different. I'm going to try this right over here. I like that one. Get some more of the light pink. And that one spread out a lot. So of course they're not going to be perfect, but I think it looks kind of pretty. What do you think? I'm gonna put another one right here And you can see how the thinner paint spreads out a lot more than the thicker paint does. So if you have a really thick paint, you might wanna thin it out a little bit. Let's add some leaves. Now you can also take a paintbrush and go in and fill in the spaces that didn't get as much paint on them as you'd like. But that's just an option. Now the thicker the paint is on your canvas, the longer it will take to dry. So keep that in mind once you're finished with your painting, make sure to put it in a safe place out of harm's way while it dries as much as possible. Let's try something with a little less structure. This will be really easy for preschoolers to do because we're just gonna make a pattern. 
So I'm going to take this 1.25 liter soda bottle and I'm just gonna dip it into the green paint here, making sure that it's nice and covered. And we're just going to put some flowers at random. Now I'm going to take the smaller water bottle and we're going to dip it in the orange paint. Now the bottom of this bottle has a different design, so it's going to look a little bit different. That one just kind of makes it look like circles. Now I'm going to take this small water bottle, which has a similar bottom to the larger water bottle. We're gonna dip that in the purple. This is a dark purple. And this paint is very chunky, so I'm not sure how well it'll work, but we'll find out. It looks pretty well covered, so I think it's just gonna make a big blob. I'm overlapping some of the flower spots here, so the paints are gonna mix a little bit. See, now the bottle has all three colors on it. I like how these bottles have different shapes. I think I'm gonna make more green ones. Let's try mixing in some more orange. See how the colors are mixing together? Let's do a little bit more purple. And it's okay if your flowers don't look like flowers. Sometimes it's just fun to make shapes. What do you think? Do you prefer the more abstract painting like this one? Or do you prefer the more realistic flower painting like this one? The great thing about art is that you can make it look however you want. Let us know if you try the soda bottle paint project yourself. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.